This panel suggests using hair as a source of energy, and although interesting, it doesn't really work. This is a sensational idea, but let's check if the math is mathing. The world population is officially over 8 billion people, and more than half of those will have a haircut every 1 to 3 months, releasing on average 30 grams of hair per person. A quick calculation shows that around 100 to 300 tons of hair are thrown away each month worldwide. The question is, what what can we actually do with that? Hair indeed does burn. It's made of keratin which is flammable. But here's the catch. Hair burns really bad. It produces a lot of smoke, releases toxic fumes, and generates very little heat compared to conventional fuels. So while you could technically use it as a source of energy, it's far from practical or environmentally friendly. But that doesn't mean it's useless. In fact, hair can be and already is being used as a natural filter to clean water and absorb pollutants. Capillum is a startup in France that's made remarkable progress with this. Hair is a fiber, and when cleaned and processed, it becomes incredibly effective at capturing hydrocarbons. Those oil-based pollutants oceans are full of. Hair naturally absorbs oil up to five times its natural weight, making it perfect for cleaning up oil spills and filtering contaminated water. And it doesn't stop there. One once the hair has absorbed those pollutants, capillum can transform them into natural fertilizer or compost, turning waste into something useful. So instead of burning hair for minimal energy, we can use it to clean the environment and support sustainable agriculture.